you don't have to be an apologist to help your kid through a question they have about God. You just have to be curious and interested. So what is the best way to sway or encourage youth away from these beliefs that are so appealing to them? Um, this is a good question. Um, what a good question. So I would say the best thing to do, especially with young people, first of all, I mentioned the Mama Bear Apologetics book. That's a great book to help you engage with your kids about uh, cultural ideas, things that are popular in culture. Um, but I think that the most important thing we can do with young people is acknowledge their doubts, acknowledge their questions, take them very seriously. We don't, you, know, you don't have to be an apologist to help your kid through a question they have about God. You just have to be curious and interested. You can research together. You can go on that journey together. You don't need to be afraid of that. And so I think that, that uh, when I hear deconstruction stories of people who are leaving the faith, um, uh, very often I'm hearing that, you know, they had genuine doubts. They had actual uh, deep questions, uh, troubles, that uh, things that bothered them about the Bible, just all kinds of things that they came up with. And, you know, in, in their situation, they were told, you're not supposed to ask those questions, or, or they didn't feel like they were in an environment where those questions could be asked, where they could process through those things. So I think that's probably the most important thing we can do. Um, also to model the real thing. You know, we can't be a bunch of hypocrites who don't know our Bibles, who don't, don't read our Bibles, who live like we want to and yet say with our mouths that we're doing something else. We, we have to live what we're teaching. We have to embody it. We have to show the world how beautiful this gospel of Jesus Christ is because it is beautiful. And, and so I think that's, that's one of the gifts that I had from my parents was that, and again, it was not perfect. My parents had flaws. There were all kinds of stuff, you know, that, that would happen, but they modeled a continual life of repentance, falling back at the feet of Jesus always. And, uh, and that, that made it very real for me. So those are just a couple of things that I would say. Mm -hmm.